Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable collaboration on your Google Sites through Google Classroom. Let's take a look at my awesome, amazing sample website that I'm building with Google Sites here. And I want to have my students work on this site with me. I could go in this upper right corner and select share with others and write in a bunch of names and you know put in any names that I want, right? Like put in Mason's name, right? And invite him that way. But that could get a little tedious if I am trying to share this with 20 kids or 25 kids. So instead, I'll go into my Google Classroom. We go to Classwork, hit Create, make a new assignment, and say, add a page about your assigned topic to the website. And you know, maybe I'll put in here. Uh, remember that you can find your assigned topic. On the doc that was posted yesterday. Now let's hit this add button and go to Google Drive. And I'll have in my recent column my amazing sample website. Click add. Now we'll say students can view the file or students can edit the file. And I want to make sure that my students do this by, let's say, the end of the week. And I'm now going to assign it to all of my students. So now let's see how the student sees this. So the student looking at his Google Classroom will see that Mr. Byrne has posted a new assignment going to see the site there and now can go in and start working on the site he's going to add a new page and put in roaring 20s and now he can start working on his site perhaps he inserts some information here maybe we'll start with the text box and say Roaring Twenties refers to the 1920s in the United States. And of course, he can now publish that. You can compare the two versions of the site. Got it. And published. Now, the student might come in here and say, okay, Mr. Byrne, I'm done. So the market is done. And now he's done his work. And so now as the teacher, I might go in here and refresh. And I'll see, oh, now there's the page on the Roaring Twenties in there. Now as the teacher, I may also want to go back in and make sure that I'm looking at the editor for my amazing sample site as well, which I can do from my Google Drive. And if I refresh over here, I'll see one student has turned this in and Mason's turned in his work. Now I'm gonna to have to go directly to the site to see what he's done, and then I can give him some feedback. So that's how you can invite collaboration on your Google Sites via Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.